guys welcome back i have two packages from nigeria i'll be bringing them out now because i'm going to be unboxing them it just occurred to me like instead of me doing this behind the camera why don't i do this whilst i discuss some other things with you so let me get the first package it's quite heavy trust me i am not for me so i have two packages and each of them is about 20 kg each. 20 kg is heavy, right? It's heavy. So I'm not forming at all. I'm going to be unboxing them. They sent these two packages to me from Lagos, Nigeria. My mom went to Nigeria sometime in February. And if you would follow me on Instagram, by the way, please follow me if you've not been following me. You know that I like swallow a lot. I share my recipes and everything. And most people know that I like Amala. Amala is made from yam flour ilubo. So I have almost 40 kg of ilubo right here. Like when they told me that was like the amount my mom was sending, I was like, <laughs> so she went to Nigeria and she wanted to like buy in like a large quantity so that we would have like enough. She also took with her to the UK. So and I have them here. So let me get my second box. I have some other things that she sent as well. So she used the opportunity since she was going to Nigeria because that's how I really get it. I I do not like buying from like sources I do not trust. And I am going to be sharing that with you guys very quickly. Ah, so this is the second box. This is the second box. Guys, the way they pack this thing. Let me grab my kitchen scissors. Ah, okay, you can do it. So, let me open the first box. I didn't know where to start from. So quickly, I will remember I was on Ninja Foodies Instagram. I was going through her Instagram page some days ago. And she posted something like, do you think African stores outside the country are quite expensive or they are overpriced or do they set their price too high and people give their like two cents and everything? After what we pay for these two boxes, I put it there that guys, I don't think so. Though sometimes some things just look out like outrageous, like you want to buy a pack of like, let me grab mine. So normally, guys, you know that a pack of this, I can't remember, as the last time when we were coming, when I bought this in Nigeria, it was about 1,500 Naira. But here, at least in Canada, I think it's about $14. That's like roughly 14K. But my name will convert anymore. Like, it can't keep converting, okay? So, so some people feel that some things are like too expensive, overly priced. And she asked that question. My own response is, logistics is not cheap transportation is not cheap so if you think of the cost of bringing in some things sometimes to you you'll be like is it really worth it because i know one of my friends she's in saskatchewan after they like brought a lot of things via sea you know when you're even paying in nigeria you're going to be paying a certain amount it doesn't stop there when it eventually comes your goods whether you're like sending it via air cargo or sea cargo you're still going to be paying customs and sometimes also like cost of shipping if you're not even in ontario because ontario is the hub right and they still send many of those things down to other provinces so you're going to be paying she was like tell me i'm going to be paying like 400 dollars extra that at the end of the day she was asking herself if it was really worth it she actually wanted to call those guys out like oh you're like a scam or something and i told her that no amaka they are not they are not trying to scam you that is the way they do it when you pay in nigeria when you come here you pay again so please if you're in nigeria and you're planning to ship things please have this at the back of your mind anything you are shipping if they tell you that you're paying five thousand naira in nigeria you're still going to be paying something here you're still going to be paying customs or even delivery other things by the way so let me just tell you so i have two boxes here they usually like split it they won't just put everything all together in one box so i have about 40 kg yes i actually saw it and they weighed it i know how much of stuff was coming to me multiply one kg as that when um they paid in lagos it was 5700 naira i remember last year when we were coming we paid 2007 it's almost times two 
so it's now 5,000. Did I say almost nine? So more than that, actually. So it's now 5,007. So other shipping companies would even take like 6,000 to the charge. So on the average, let's just say 6,000 via a cargo, not C. A cargo is faster, right? So on one kg, we paid 5,007. And this is 40 kg. Do the math. My math is not so good, but do the math, Sha. We paid like almost, I can't remember. I know it was over 150k, over 200k that we paid. So you can imagine, you're paying over 200k. What is inside this box is definitely not even up to that. I think everything should be like 50k or something. So you're paying that. And when it eventually arrived, on these two boxes that weigh 40kg, we had to pay another extra 50 something dollars. So... At that point, you ask yourself that, is it really worth it? It depends. For me, it is worth it. So it now depends on the item. For I take a lot of Amala, like yam flour, a lot. If you go on my Instagram page, you'll see like different recipes that I have shared. But I don't trust the source. Like where I come from, I am from Oyo State. My people make Amala, like the real one, the yam flour. There are different variations. Plantain, cassava, we don't really eat that. We don't like that. The primary one in my hometown is the yam flour. The one, the pure one, even without the skin. My please, if you give us the one with the skin, we'll, we'll probably not like it that much. So I don't trust so many sauces. I can't, I can't, I can't remember buying ever, buying a lubo from a store. Of course, when you go to Bookers, you buy because you don't know, but buying from a store, we don't ever, like my mom does not trust it. I don't trust it either. So when it comes to cases like that, and I want to import, you just ask yourself that, is that thing really that important? So that's it. So that's what I have. I just thought to like quickly ship that in. I have actually been doing that while I was opening this thing, Sha, but it's okay. So if you are coming down, whether you are traveling, even if you are going to the UK, you are going to the USA, anywhere, ask yourself, I ship a lot of things. I ship a lot of things. Do I regret? No. I had that at the back of my, of my mind. I knew what I was shipping and I knew that. Um, at the end of the day, is either I like it or I do not like it. So I can see the logo already spilling out. It has filled, oh, it has filled. It has filled. Goodness, I have to do this before the kids come back. My children do not react kindly to, oh goodness, I have to do this on the floor. Okay, so guys, I'm not going to bother. I don't want to bring this out of the bag. So you can see, this is yam flour. It's, if you can see, it's already like spilling out. I will just leave it like this because if I bring it out, everything will scatter. So I just wanted to show you about this first one. This is the first pack or the first case. I shipped with Afriway Cargo. I've used them and they are very, very reliable. So I, like, I highly recommend them. This is not an advert or anything, but I highly recommend them. So this is the Ilubo like I spoke about. I'll just leave it in this case like this. I don't want trouble because once I bring it out, like everything will just do you get so i'll just leave it let me show you what i have in the other case so in this other case goodness hmm. you'll be asking yourself like, is it really what it is i have beans there's beans in canada i have um well this one is not easy to come by so i have to get them i have guinea corn I have beans as well. There's more beans. I want to make pop, so that's why I have to get all this. I have yellow corn. So there's your answer. If you're wondering if you can actually bring all those things into Canada, there you have it. At least it came. So if you're planning on bringing things like this, I have um, white corn as well. I have so it basically grains. I have my guinea corn, the white guinea corn, and I have my millets. So I'm going to be using, like I said, I'm going to be using this for pap. My children, everybody in my, in my house, we still have pap in our freezer, but I don't want to run out of my supply. So I have to like, I was like, since I was really like shipping some things, I just wanted to like 
bring this as well just to have that as an opportunity so this was everything that came finished one box yam flour the other box greens beans millet guinea corn different kinds of corn millet and everything so that's it that's everything you understand 40 kg over 200k from nigeria and i still paid 50 dollars here so let's just say on the average 40 kg cost me if i want to convert the 50 dollars here to, to naira let's just say 50k at least 260k for 40 kg use that as like a rough estimate so if you're bringing in like 100 kg just do your math and it goes on like that so what i know is that you pay in nigeria you pay here so you start asking, is it really worth it? The prices they set in the African stores. I know people are always like, okay, there are many other ways they can like collaborate, they can partner with other people, they can import in silos and all that. People have been saying and giving out their two cents. But sometimes, if you will, to analyze it this way, it's actually costly to bring all these things in. Of course, they may not use air cargo and all that. I know they do it on a larger scale, but it's still something. So guys, this is what I unboxed from Lagos and what it cost me so that you can use it. So if you are still in Nigeria and you're planning to come down to Canada, you're going to the US or you are going to any country, especially Canada, because Canada is quite a stretch. For the UK, it's quite cheaper. You won't pay as much, of course, because it's not as far as Canada. But if like you're coming to Canada, use this as like a benchmark. When I was coming, when we first came initially, we shipped a lot. So I didn't even do all that like math and it was cheaper than just one year difference is a lot it's like times two right now guys it's really really a lot another thing is if you want to ship by sea cargo it's also something i know these guys do not do sea cargo and i can recommend on that person i used for sea cargo um i use 24 for foods I highly recommend them as well. Not an ad, but they did me well as when I used them. You can just find out more. I wanted to go with guys that I won't have to like bother myself and I'll start screaming where, where are my goods, where is my stuff and all that. And I got it, everything got to me in one piece. I share how I cook here, all my pots, everything. I brought them from Nigeria. My plates, I brought them from Nigeria, but it was wrapped well. And most of them, I shipped them before I could even blink my things were here so that's another thing you can consider sea cargo is cheaper i think from lagos one kg is about 600 naira compared to like air cargo but it is not fast it won't get to you like asap when you need it but bear in mind when it arrives you're still going to be paying for customs and for delivery as the case might be if if you're not like in ontario or even if you're in ontario you might still need to have delivery paid for down to your doorstep if you want it to your doorstep if you can you can go to their warehouse and pick it up so i just wanted to share my two cents which is what i usually do on this page if you have not been following if you have not subscribed yet consider subscribing because i'll be sharing more information that you might need please tag someone that needs this because many people are coming into canada right now and i want many people to come guess what guys last year everybody was saying that the winter was not so bad probably because plenty of people are coming in so bring everybody in so that we won't feel that cold those in nigeria feel that oh once you step into canada you do like this yes it's actually freezing but i think it's getting better i'll see my other videos bye